Hey there, if you're watching this, I imagine you've already heard of work cycles by Ultrawork. Uh, so it's their methodology to help people get uh, work done without so much, uh, you know, pressure, procrastination, so on and so forth. Um, and they have a program that uh, implements that with a lot of social accountability. You can uh, pay, I think, a fee every three months and uh, have access, unlimited access to their conferences that are moderated by real people. And overall, they seem like a very, very uh, nice investment. I personally have not tried the actual offering that they have because it's very expensive for my currency here in Brazil. Uh, but that said, their work cycles is brilliant. Uh, if you go through through this page, ultraworking.com slash TWG, uh, you're going to see this uh, work cycle spreadsheet somewhere here. There is a link to it. I'm going to share that with you in the video. Uh, but basically, it just really helps you uh, focus more and be more productive by uh, being more active in your process of uh, facing your work, your meta work, uh, pretty much. So uh, it acts as you as you are starting to work what you're trying to accomplish, why this is important and valuable, how will I know this is complete? And so you start getting a very clear picture of what you need to do. And this really uh, brings about clarity and uh, more effectiveness. But uh, you pair that with uh, sessions where you have accountability uh, partners that work together with you and then your productivity really goes up and that's been helping me a lot. I've been going through a very uh, down moment uh, in my emotional life and uh, it's it's helping I'm, I'm still working towards my goals uh, but the accountability I'm personally now just working with uh, with friends we set up on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays uh, sessions for us to go through work together uh, but what I want to share is actually how I'm doing that in Rome because uh, the spreadsheet is too much outside of my usual approach to work. Uh, it's just, I don't really like opening spreadsheets. And uh, the app that Ultra Working provides is really nice, but it's uh, sessions must happen uh, for a given duration, 30 minutes. And I personally prefer 40. So I created a template in Rome. Uh, so I start with Ultra Working work cycles here. And then it's prompts me to add in the current time. So say I would start work at 11.45 or I could uh, plan ahead for starting at midday. Uh, then I have the prepare uh, moment where I'm thinking about what do I want to do in the session. So it could be, for example, uh, record, edit and ship video on work cycles. Uh, why is this important? Uh, I think it can help others. Um, and then I'm not very clear. So I, I spend a little more time thinking through it. Maybe sometimes you're going to realize that's not even necessary. Uh, and then you just like, you know, maybe I shouldn't do that. So you uh, go through it. I'm going to share a video where uh, Sebastian, the, one of the creators of this methodology, talks about it. Uh, but yeah, basically, I feel this in here. These are all attributes which is Rome's, one of Rome's way of defining a page. So I can click on what I'm trying to accomplish and see all the references to it. Um, right, and then I go to the actual work, which is uh, divided in cycles. So I start a cycle by running individual work cycle and it has a Pomodoro timer. So say in this case, I'm starting at uh, midday, I would wait until that's, uh, that's there. And then I would click the timer and, and get started. Um, and then, of course, for each uh, cycle beforehand, I would plan just like we do for the overall session, because uh, this way we are chunking the work and making sure uh, we are still working on the right things. Uh, we catch any uh, distractions if we had any. So what I'm trying to accomplish in the cycle is just uh, overview of my template, for example. Uh, how will I get started? I will open OBS, which is my recording software, uh, and uh, Roam in Hazard's presence, uh, showing data or uh, just writing that I don't want to share. 
uh, and then how do I want to deal with that? Uh, I'll edit that in a future cycle. Don't worry about it now, for example. And then my energy. I initially I had like a select button, uh, so I could choose high, medium, and low. But uh, unfortunately, Rome still treated high, medium, and low all the three options as being available to that block. So references were a bit skewed. So I'm just now doing just uh, actually deleting the ones that I'm not using. Uh, so in this case, energy and morale, I could go into energy and open the, the page and have a pretty good view of how I'm doing. Uh, in this case, for example, I did not feel it. So I'm, I will just remove that. Um, so high, low, medium, medium. So you can see I was at a very good moment, a lot of highs. Then I did a dip here, around here, which was uh, yesterday, actually. Yesterday was a very tough day for me, um, but I'm still holding, holding on and uh, it really allows me to see um, my progress over time. And uh, there is an extension for Rome called Rome Portal. You could use that to actually uh, visualize it uh, in graphs, how your energy and your morale is going. Uh, right now, I'm not worried about that because I don't have many data points. I think I have uh, like 15 or 14 instances of where I did work cycles inside of Rome. So uh, I'm not very worried yet. Uh, but it's clear how it could be valuable because I could say go into morale and say, am I working on something that brings me joy? And then I could take a look here and say that I have 42 highs, 20 mediums and 10 lows. It's pretty good. I would rather have like 90 percent high, uh, but we always are going to have some some work that we don't want to do. So this is pretty good. Um, and I could track this over time. Maybe even uh, add this like a report today. Uh, Forty two high, twenty medium, and ten low. And then over time we can uh, track that. Um, so yeah, coming back to the template itself, I would plan it out. Uh, when Pomodoro is over, it automatically switches into a break mode that is green and you can use that to plan your break. But if it's 40 minutes, it's only going to be eight minutes break. If you want 10, then I would recommend reaching for an alarm. I even have uh, windows alarms set up because I usually start work at uh, eight. So I just trigger every alarm and then uh, they just let me know when breaks are done and I can snooze the, the actual alarm in Windows. And when they're back, that's just a sign for me to go back to work. Uh, when I review, did I complete the cycle's target? This is also a proxy for how well I'm doing in life. So you can see yes, half, yes, yes, no. So yeah, I think I'm doing pretty well. And again, I could do the same thing as I did for morale. For morale. So uh, yeah, actually not doing pretty well because uh, about 40% uh, are half and nose. But you know, over time that can change. Um, so yeah, this is the template, I'm going to uh, export a page for this template as a JSON file that you can just import into row. And then you go from there. Um, yeah, then in the end, you debrief and that's it. One example that I'm already um, really benefit benefiting from is uh, any other takeaways and how what went well, how can I replicate this in the future? So each of these are like lessons learned and um, I'm going to evolve this template over time because at the moment I'm not 100% sure on the value of each uh, question specifically, like why they're phrased this way. And I'm uh, building intuition and understanding of that over time. But for example, any other takeaways, yesterday I had a very powerful understanding that I can use work cycles even for my healing journey. Um, and I wrote a little bit about a little bit about that. And I'm going to share that with more and more people besides the ones working with me individually, because, uh, you know, for me personally, it's very clear how it, it could help. So uh, yeah, this is a good example. And even like if you're doing uh, content production, um, this is a nice nudge as you're doing your regular work to think about what you're doing that is going well or bad and how can you rephrase that or formulate that in a nice way that others may benefit from. 
so yeah this is the whole uh approach that i'm taking hopefully this makes sense to you and don't forget to uh give a shout out to ultra working people uh and make sure you know they get the the return they deserve because this is just brilliant work and i i still want to have the condition to to pay for their uh their actual work team uh, but yeah in the meantime do at least follow them on twitter because they have some really interesting stuff and yeah uh any comments appreciated bye bye